Hello people, Sick of Starcraft back here, giving you a Zerg versus Zerg, my favorite! Hooray! Uh, we've got, oh that's me, have fun, in the bottom left, Omniscient, Red Zerg, and we have Fuck, uh, better known as Casey, in the top right, as the Blue Zerg. Um, we, we get off, I'm gonna fast forward it soon, because this is a long friggin' game, uh, but regardless, he likes to have a little bit of witty banter, and I'm not too exactly sure what he's talking about. Did you hear me during the loading? Maybe he was screaming bloody murder, but I'm really not too sure of anybody that can hear stuff during the loading screen. I did win during the loading screen, though, and that's a small victory. He's gay. You know, right on. Cool. Doesn't factor into my decision of playing stop production tab while I chat. And I figure if he's... Oh, how's that working out for you? Usually at the start of the game, if somebody's being really, really talkative, uh, they're either like me and they've been drinking, or they're going for some sort of cheese or something. So I'm scouting. Scouting. I'm going for an early scout. Um, his choice of sexuality apparently isn't going well. I'm asking him why. Uh, because uh, maybe he's getting bullied or something like that, and I'd feel really bad if that was the case. So he goes for a pool just after my scout leaves, uh, which is pretty good. I'm going to go park down here expecting him to actually expand soon, and he's not. I'm taking a gas, and then my pool, so that way I can go for some pressure. I figure this guy must be going for some sort of early expand or something, right? Yeah. Still parking down here. Pool on the way. He's not going for his gas yet, so whatever he's bringing out, it's not really an all-in-ish kind of a thing. Like I would expect. People going into gas now, as they should. His pool will be done slightly before mine, and I'm okay with that. I am enjoying some Bombay Sapphire with Hypnotic. Slightly feminine, but it is extremely easy going. And it's making me feel really smooth. Yeah. So I scout again, see the pool, see the delayed gas. Uh, so I figure he's not going to be really hurting me at all with whatever goes on there. Uh, and I'm going to go back down and block the expansion. I think that he's timed out this build to be able to get those links out to stop people doing stuff like this. Which is extremely common. Uh, particularly if you're playing against like a Protoss or maybe even a Terran throwing down like an engineering bay. But I'm actually doing a pretty good job. He's quite over where his minerals should be. <laughs> he finally turns around his links just in time. Uh, I'm going to try to delay just a little bit longer. Oh, almost. Anyways, I delayed him almost up to 300 more minerals. And that's fine by me. My hatch has got a good little lead over him. I do have plenty of gas, but with all my bullshit going on, I didn't get my speed yet. Don't take drugs, kids. I got enough gas, so I pull. I leave one in gas on purpose, so that way I can keep building up slowly, so I can tech up a little bit faster, uh, but still get the economy I need. First queen on the way, so is his. I send out two links to intercept the links coming up to mine, and I'm not too sure what he says about not appreciating me. He's barely gotten to know me at this point, so I'm asking him to try a little bit harder. Maybe give me a second chance. You know, maybe there's maybe there's hope for us still, if he really wants to work at it. Eh, his ling's a little beat up. I'm sending mine back to the watchtower. He's gonna send his back in to do a little bit of damage, which is kind of clever. It was a nice little timing for him. I didn't notice the uh, guy running by on the minimap. I have this one drone going down. Uh, he comes in here. He doesn't end up getting a kill with this zergling. Because uh, I pull this off pretty quick, which is nice. Uh, he's got his queen down here in position, which is really nice. And a second queen, so he's got a... He timed that out really well. Whatever build he came up with, he ended up timing out pretty good. So he's got this one ling mounting around, and it doesn't really bother me. My speed's going to be done sooner, and producing lots of ling and drones. Economy-wise, I am way behind. Holy crap. Man. I've got one ling chasing this guy around. Man, this guy timed out this build well. This is the first time I'm watching this. This guy timed out this build well to be able to get out that uh, that worker lead here. And what a worker lead, too. It's massive. We both have tons of money. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure. And he's already going up to his lair attack. But mine has got a little bit of an advantage over him. Uh, I haven't really exactly decided what I'm doing. i got roaches. I've been really liking the roach play. He's even got a spine crawler on. How the hell is this guy kicking my ass so badly in economy? 
I probably got supply blocked at some point, and Zerg is one of those things, if you get out like one or two extra drones early on, it's just amazing how much of a lead that can get you. I'm starting to build kind of a funky wall off here, because I am expecting him to go in with some s sort of attack, just because everybody does in the Zerg territory that I play in. Taking my next gas. And, man. Man, is this guy kicking my ass early on. I've really got to work on my economy timing. And he's even got both of his other gases going down. Uh, so his lead is absolutely incredible. I got a good wall off the front, so I'm not too worried. I did chase away this overseer that was sitting around there because... What I'm thinking about doing is hiding a little bit of tech somewhere in here. His spire has got a great lead on my eventual... Eventual spire? There it is. There's my spire. So, not only is this guy kicking my ass in supply and economy, he's now got a huge lead in tech. So, however he built this build, um, he should keep using it. It's uh, grade A number one. Now, my Mutalisk versus Zerg plays is not that good. My anticipation is just to build a handful of them, so that way I have the ability to uh, just do a bit of harass and then move into a heavier roach play. As you can see, I've got my speed for my roaches almost finished, which is great. It's a nice thing to get out of the way and don't forget about... Oh, that sound you just heard was me killing off a changeling that was bouncing around. So, I, at this point, I'm pretty sure he knows exactly what I'm doing. So that's not a big deal. Lots of crawlers at the front. He's probably expecting me to do the same thing that I'm expecting him to do. Units wise, still got a huge lead in economy. I get massively supply blocked again because I suck. That Ling was actually supposed to scout the third. Which he did not. So I'm sad. Anyways, he's got six mutas popping out. Spreading creep. My spire is just finishing. Uh, but when it does finish, I've actually got a pretty good bank of resources here to be able to pop out. Pop out. Pop out. There we go. Uh, another six meters of my own. Now, I haven't scouted that he's doing this. He was smart enough to at least have overseers and junk to figure out what I was doing. And I'm going to have to look at this guy's profile afterwards. He must have played tons of games or something because this guy's polished. Wrote evolution chambers to really wall off nicely as well. He saw that mine was walled off nicely. And in he comes with his mutalisks. Just six. He did kill a queen. I've only got a handful. I don't know how many he has here because I can't see very well the texture of his stuff. But he managed to kill off a few workers. So he's still got even a bigger lead. My guy's got to go back to work. Uh, he's got his plus one at, on the ground at range shit. I got in the air range shit on the way. And he's... <laughs> Man, we are so identical in this game, except he's just a little bit better than me. Uh, he stopped making mutas. He's making another queen. Oh. What the hell is he attacking? Oh, he's, he takes out my overlords, which is fine. It's a good move for him. Where the heck is all my stuff? Oh, spreading out his overlords, which is nice. And so now I have more mutas than him, and my plus one will finish up, so that'd be great. Three more mutas. I'm really not too sure at this point. I feel so far behind in this game. If he built a giant swell of mutas, he's just gonna go kill me and I have to try to fall back on some spore crawlers and queens. If he makes something else, I'm likely just gonna get destroyed. He comes in and tries to poke in to kill off a few workers. He didn't actually get any. Um, and I managed to get a little bit of damage in on some more mutas. But now he makes what I was planning on doing, which is a really nice big pile of roaches. His plus one's gonna finish up really quick. Uh, he's going for his mutalisk range and his roach speed. He's going to wait for his roach speed stuff to finish first. I get really lucky doing this. I get so unbelievably lucky. I find the roaches with my uh, mutas. And plus one's about to finish up, which is going to help a lot because mutas don't do a lot of damage to roaches. Where's his mutas? Oh, they're coming in late. They were defending. So I've got to do as much damage as I possibly can because uh, these guys could kill off a lot of economy if I'm not smart about this. So, he gets one worker, attacks the extractor by accident, I, he only killed one worker for all those roaches. Now if my mutas were over here somewhere, and he ran in those roaches, I'd be in so much trouble. He runs these guys in to do a bit of damage, 
Uh, but he doesn't kill any workers again. You can see I got three on each uh, harv extractor. Spores helped out a lot. I'm chasing these guys back and I'm running in with a pile of lings. Because I'm sure he's going to be expanding by now. So I want to cancel this if I can. I'm going to split my army in two different directions. I'm going to keep focusing down on this hatch. And these guys are going to go to the left. Sorry, the right. Now, I'm going to get really close to taking this out. He's only got a handful of mutas. Uh, and he saves it with 30 some hit points. So I come in here, try to get a little bit of damage done. I see all these mutas coming in. He's got tons of mutas. 1-1 one, one mutas with range upgrade. Uh, but I've got my expansion coming down as well. I'm going to circle around. All I need to do is get in like one hit on this and it's done. What are we at units wise? Units wise, we're pretty even on economy. Though he's starting to produce more. Same with me. Uh, what do I have here? More mutas. He's got his overlord speed in place, which is nice. I'm going to come in here with... Well, he's got all of his hydralisks out of place here. So I'm going to get a good opportunity to come in. Snipe off a whole... Like, two, three of his mutas. A few of his workers. A queen. I see all these hydras. I'm just going to hold position. Take this out. And run away. I'm going to lose a couple of mutas on the way out. But I cancel this third, and that's what's really important, and my third's about to finish. More mutas, infestation pit on the way, just slightly ahead of his, and plus two attack for air on the way. No. And my rally points are all over the map this game. I, I really didn't have them set up super well. So I did good damage. He's going to sit back for a little bit. I'm producing a big pile of workers to go to the, my new base, so that should probably get me. I'm in the lead now, worker-wise. Oh, pardon me. I'm not too sure what these are all about. Maybe he was going to go for drops later. Do these things have... No, they don't. But who knows? So these guys are flying around, just exploring the world. He's running in with a bunch of lings to try to do some damage. Um, I think he managed to get a couple of, uh, a couple of workers. I'm putting up some emergency crawlers. If I'd been a little bit more in advance, that probably would have helped. These guys are going to go off now to try to cancel the third again. I'm moving into roach production, hive tech, uh, and I'm putting down macro hatcheries because I keep finding myself with lots of money and no way to spend it. So he's coming in with a ton of hydralisks that I can't attack, so I'm going to run my workers away. I got to give up this base, there's nothing to do about it. And I'm going to start rallying roaches out of the way. These guys are going to come back to defend. I probably could have gone in and done a ton of damage with these, but I wasn't in a mood to base trade. Because I'm sure this guy had higher tech, and sure enough, he's got nine infestors on the way, and pathogen glands about to finish. That is a ton of hydras. I'm starting to use my upgrades now. Got my plus one attack coming on, because I know this is going to come down to Roach versus Hydra and the end of it. He's got Burrow on the way with his infestors. Look at this timing. This is fantastic from him. Great teching. His hydras are off creep, so they're going to take a while to get back. That's going to give me plenty of time to come in here. And, uh, you know, get some damage in. He unfortunately runs all of his workers in this way. Uh, he does burrow them, which is nice. The splash isn't hitting them down there. Very smart move on his part. Once again, his hydras make it back just in time. But I do end up canceling his third. And I'm starting to build up my roaches. And plus one for each is coming on the way. He immediately is going to throw down his third again. I'm going to hide a sneaky sneak up here. Sometimes these can make or break a game. So I'm just going to give it a try. I've got the bank for it. We're going to see what we can do. I'm going to swing around now. Because this guy has not been very good at anticipating where my hydras is. And he's going to go with a shark attack. And I don't really have any detection. Another macro hatch. So i got two macro hatches. Two bases. Way oversaturated on this base because I had to run my workers away. That's alright with the amount of minerals. Go down with this base again. So these guys... Gonna come up here, do some damage. See what I can get here. We got three... Ah, uh, he buries, burrows all of his workers, which is really cute. And... Run, Hydras! Yeah. They get out there. I don't lose too many more, which is fine. He does a really good fungal on these. I'm gonna go for a chase and see what I can do. I'm going to try to waste all of his fungals. 
I see all the Terrans. He's got Burrow. So I'm going to try to run back. I end up losing a, a few roaches down here. Not too big of a deal for me. I'm going to run with my roaches because I'm going to sandwich his infestors. I don't want him to fungal all of my uh, mutas at once. Because um, they got grouped up really well, but they ran away before he could get them. Run back in with my roaches just to see if I can catch him off guard. Now, now, I should be starting to move my workers. Base going down. Hydra's come back. He's paying pretty good attention right now. So run these things out, lose another one. Oh, what, what can he do? Big pile of lings down here, which is nice. I'm sure he could be doing more with those right now. Where all my roaches go? Oh, they're back here. Nicely defending against stuff, which is great. Units wise, I've got a big lead on workers right now, which is fantastic. I'm throwing down a few spore crawlers for detection because I'm a chump, and that's what chumps do is they build static defenses instead of, you know, good mobile ones. He's going up to his hive tech behind mine. My, his 2 2 is about to finish. I've got 1 1. I haven't started my 2 2 even, like, at all yet. Is that, that better not be 3 3. Where's all of his stuff? I need a measurement. 2-2. Two, two. Fantastic. I'm not too sure he's waiting for with these. He had a great opportunity to come in here and do some damage while all this stuff is going on. I'm throwing down some spores and some spines so that if he tries to shark past, he's going to lose a lot. These guys took out a whole pile of overlords. He's quite supply blocked because for some reason he rallied all of his overlords down to the bottom of the map. I knew that he would be coming after me at some point with those infestors, so I did stick around. He ran with more lings. They didn't look like they got too much work done. I cleaned them up pretty fast. There's all of his infestors. He didn't get off a of fungal. And now I've got a really huge army and a huge supply lead. This base is just harvesting a few. I keep forgetting that it's up there. Uh, this space is on the way. But if we go back to units tab, he has not really rebuilt a lot of drones. With the amount of minerals I have on these bases, I probably shouldn't be building much more. I know that his burrow tech is going to really kick my butt. Uh, production tab. I believe I make some overseers at some point. These mutas, I'm not building any more yet because I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with them. He's going up to 3-3. Three, three. Man, so good. And I'm still at 1-1. One, one. I've got the minerals and money to get up on my upgrades and I really got to stay on top of that. Um, so moving out now with the overseers. And he got kind of lucky I didn't catch him at the best possible moment. I'm going to chase as much as I can. Stutter step. He's going to get in a lot of damage here. I expect that. But I've got to try and kill as much as I can. I kill all of his Hydralisks off. He's not really killed any of my roaches. He's done a ton of damage, yes. But he's lost almost all of his infestors. And almost all of his roaches. I keep both of my overseers alive. And all my roaches are alive. Now I move into Burrow because I'm not going to go attack with all these beat up roaches. He's getting Burrow behind this and Ventral Sacks. Oh no, that's me getting Ventral Sacks. Ha! Uh, he's actually going. Is this Kiteness? No, it's not. He's going up to Broodlord deck. Which I actually completely disagree with. With my Mutas out and my Muta tech and the fact that I've got 2 0 on all these. I see no reason for him to make that move. I know he just sacrificed all of his Hydras. So I'm going to go in and do a little bit of damage right now. While I'm waiting for my Burrow to happen. So I'm going to fly behind his middle line where this Crawlers can't reach me. Kill off a few workers nicely. It's fantastic. So I got a lot of damage done there. Uh, he's completely mined on his main. Kill a couple more workers off. I see the spore crawlers, so I'm not going to stick around. These mutas are just for pissing them off at this point, so I'm going to run away. Haven't built any more workers up here yet. Doesn't really bother me. My burrow is about to finish. And now is when things kind of get weird for me. I keep wanting to build a giant... Well, I'm maxed out as well. I'm uh, going to burrow up and heal up. Another big pile of uh, roaches. Sorry, mutas. I did see corruptors somewhere. I thought I saw Corruptors somewhere. Oh, there it is. Happily, my guys are on move command. 
I don't know what this, this is just such a cheeky thing. Like, I'm not too sure if you really expect that to move and do well. But now I keep screwing up all my hotkeys for some reason. I don't really know why. Uh, so this attack's gonna happen pretty quick. And it does more than it should because I'm just all messed up in the mind. Uh, gonna go for an expansion for all my extra workers doing nothing. He's only got four infestors left. Plus, plus two, plus two on the way, plus three mute attack. I'm such a noob, look at that. Oh. See, he's trying to take out all my mutas, and I don't know what's going on. All my hotkeys are fucked at this moment. His, his fungals are okay, but not good enough. I've got such a huge army right now, I'm so not worried about what he can do to me. Do I have an overseer here somewhere? I thought I had an overseer here somewhere. Guess not. Anyways, he's still got a broodlord over here, just fucking around. And he flies it into a spore crawler, which is really funny. I finally get my hotkeys figured out and gonna go back after this. Running in some links to the top left. Maybe he thinks I'm starved out at this point. I mean, he's he's got tons of money still left there. Uh, what is his workers over here? He could probably transfer a few over from there. That's mined out. So now all my guys are healed up. That's just gonna go kill him, right? Why not? We both have pretty good banks at this point. I see that he's got the corruptors up there. He morphs them all. I'm like whoopee crap. Even if those all do morph in time. You can't stop me before I kill everything of yours. So sure enough, I'm gonna come in here and lay waste. Plus two, plus two is just finishing up. Uh, double fungal for whatever reason you want to do that. You know, right on. Speed roaches on creep. Not much you can do about that there, big guy. Ooh. One-shotting spore crawlers. You know, you're off to a good start when that happens. All the mutas down here. I see that he's going for broodlords, so I just don't want to lose all my mutas. Building another big pile of mutas. And... Oh, has he got more in here as well? Oh, he's got mute. Oh, he's mutas that are left over for nothing. Run into the main. And... Apparently we're both drunk. And that's okay. Uh, I got outplayed for like 95% of that game. Just stuck with my macro. A couple of good maneuvers of mutalisks. Brought it home. GG. See you guys later.